Hi everybody, how are you? Uh, today uh, I will discuss about uh, the ADA third bearing uh, functionality that what is the uh, basic purpose of ADA third bearing. So basically ADA third bearing is a extra bearing which is helpful uh, to the two-stroke engine uh, crankshaft. Usually you know the crankshaft of the two-stroke engine having two bearings. The crankshaft is rotated 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 among the bearings uh, through piston. So third bearing the basic concept of third bearing is to help out the other two bearings because when the crankshaft is rotated uh, through the bearings then uh, in the reaction some friction forces uh, will occur. So to minimize the friction forces in reaction basically uh, we use the third bearing. Third bearing usually when uh, I will show you this is a third bearing uh, ADS spindle. That spindle for example I show, the, show you that how this spindle can work. When I uh, insert this spindle in the bearing this is a third bearing basically. You can see this bearing is, is this spindle is, is rotated and all the rotation is rotation and all the weight is is going on this this bearing so what is the advantage the you know the when when for example this is our engine this is our engine this is our engine when for example this engine have a this is a crankshaft so crankshaft one bearing is in the front side and other bearing is in the back back side so for example let's suppose this when when this this uh, uh, bearing we we uh, we attach uh, to further attach to uh, to this crankshaft. So alternatively, you can see that when uh, this bearing extra bearing we add, that bearing is uh, helpful uh, to the crankshaft. And what is the advantage? The basic advantage of the of that it will protect the crankshaft. The life of the crankshaft and the uh, second and first bearing will will be increased. So that is a very optimal solution. That if we use the the third bearing, that is applicable to the uh, drag drive. For example, for example, uh, uh, for example, when we push. Uh, uh, when 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 we use a push right for example so basically third third uh, bearing is helpful so today basically i will show you about that how we we are properly uh, assemble the third bearing system and how we can uh, directly attach the third bearing uh, system to the engine mount without any engine 54 mm housing without any clutch and without any clutch plate today i will show you that when when we uh, directly uh, connect the engine crankshaft to, to third bearing uh, through spindle then the power or uh, rpm will be improved and definitely that you will feel feel a more power in 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 the during the right right time so basically the third bearing have a basic purpose is uh, to improve the crankshaft life by using the extra extra this extra bearing and then second uh, advantage is that this spindle have a special ADA, ADA spindle you can see this spindle when I insert this spindle the spindle is properly fixed here so the so main thing is that the grip on the tire the spindle is it, 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 it will be improved and then the tire uh, uh, when tire is spin spin there is no slippery issue issues will be occurred so third bearing 
will be supported uh, uh, in a crankshaft safety sense and it will be support uh, when for example during the ride you will feel the better and smooth ride so this is a basically third bearing uh, uh, basic concept now i will show you that how we can install uh, the engine mount and how we can properly uh, uh, attach the engine uh, directly without using any clutch any clutch plate that you can see my step please then I will show you everything properly you can see that the, the this uh, you know you can see that you know frame basically this is this frame we have two two of the holes you can insert any of the holes uh, the this mount system so mount system basically uh, alignment is uh, our proper assembly i will show you this is the mount extra uh, uh, support that will be improve the safety of the engine so how we can you can use this one i show you we will be, we will insert like the way this one we, we insert properly looks it look properly then we going here then we use the this bolt this is the bolt that bolt we used here and then this is now this is a basically posi engine posi lock you can see that this is the engine posi lock engine posi lock i will show that how we can in in we insert the engine posi lock like that way this way we will insert the engine posi lock then this tight this bolt we will properly tight the properly tight with this bolt And this is a wheel or tire axle. This axle will be going. This you can see this hole. This is the hole you can see the proper hole. That axle will we will insert into this hole. And proper this is a proper alignment. You can see that this is the axle, uh, basically this is the main axle area, you can you can see this hole, so axle will be insert this hole by that way, this one, this one the proper, this, this is the proper alignment of, so further we will tie it. Make sure that uh, ADA, you, know, you can see that this one ADA 
this one ADA racing and that's that's logo you can see that this is ADA racing this is a proper alignment and make sure that uh, uh, this is the, uh, the ADA third bearing mount should be uh, in vertical position so that is a proper ver vertical position so this is a uh, basic uh, uh, how uh, we can mount the engine by using the third bearing mount system and this is the posi engine lock so the main thing is that i will show you that about how to directly contact the engines with bearing i show you this is the engine that engine is without any housing any ho any housing this is a direct drive directly we will uh, uh, conduct the engine so how we can connect the engine i show you Then we will insert the spindle. We will insert the spindle. Then we properly tied all bolts properly tied. You can see that this is the third bearing I I have been applied this third bearing like this this direction you can see that ADA racing is mentioned on there that is ADA racing mentioned on there that is a third bearing I applied so basically other two bearings which are uh, attached to the crankshaft and this third third bearing is extra support that will be helpful uh, to improve the safety of the crankshaft. So this is the third bearing. Now this is a spindle. For example, this spindle. So when we use a spindle bolt, that is a spindle bolt basically. We insert a spindle bolt. Make sure that our piston should be locked. This is a piston stopper. You can see that is a piston stopper. Yeah, that piston stopper. We take out a, uh, the spark plug. Then we insert the piston uh, uh, stopper. Then we lock the piston properly. Uh, when we lock the piston properly, then we uh, tight the uh, we tight the bolt uh, spindle bolt. Look, that is I am trying to tight proper tight the spindle bolt. That's up. Now the spindle is properly tied. Then the spindle is properly tied. Then we then we take out uh, the piston stopper. Then we will insert the spark plug. That is that is the spark plug. I insert the spark plug, and then I will tie it properly. Then I properly tied this arm for our bolts. Proper tied. Then 
then tire this is the tire our tire tire washer one washer then insert the tire then second washer then So basically this is the third bearing uh, proper engine assembly here. Yeah. So all steps I, I have done. This is a, uh, you can see that the engine is properly mount and you can flexible that is depend on that, that uh, what size of the tires. According to the tire size, you can flexible, you can move the motor up and down. I hope that you guys will uh, uh, enjoy my video and uh, uh, I hope that, that this video will be help out you guys, especially the uh, new uh, guys that maybe who don't understand about the ADA third bearing concept. So basically this is the ADA third bearing uh, mechanism and that is a proper way that you can mount the 54 mm motor uh, like a direct, direct access without uh, any clutch without any clutch plate like a push uh, start you can uh, use by using the third bearing support i like to use the uh, the third bearing support uh, and track drive because uh, i need uh, more rpm and uh, uh, more power so i i prefer the uh, uh, drag drive but uh, i will recommend uh, uh, the black magic spindle that who can support uh, the third bearing uh, uh, support system that is uh, uh, helpful that is reliable because that uh, ada the uh, this spindle that I operate here that is a ADA normal spindle this spindle only uh, can be work on the uh, dry condition especially in winter uh, in summer summer but in the rainy condition this spindle can't work uh, on this go pad so I will uh, prefer or I will recommend the black magic uh, spindle uh, that spindle uh, spindle is reliable and uh, you can try it uh, any weather condition that either snow either raining either dry and that uh, i so i will prefer the black magic spindle everybody so if you guys need a uh, more talk uh, so you need a small size spindle if you guys need a top speed so you you guys uh, will be i suggest you guys uh, will be use the uh, long size spindle Thank you very much guys, have a nice day, bye bye.